Hi everybody and welcome back to part three of our modifying recipes and cooking activities for young chefs of various ages. I'm here with Orla. Hi. And Greta. Hi. Orla, how old are you? I'm 13. And Greta? I'm 11. And Orla and Greta are going to help me put some of the theories and uh, strategies that we've talked about in the first two videos into practice here in the third. So now before we get started girls, there's a few things that we always have to go over before we start cooking. I see that you've both tied your hair back. That's good. And Greta, I see you've got some big sleeves on, but you've rolled them up. Yes. So that's good. Uh, what's the most important thing that we have to do before we start cooking every time? Washing our hands. Washing our hands. Have you both done that? Yes. Perfect. Then we're ready to get started. Today, we are going to be demonstrating a Thai stir fry recipe. I actually learned this recipe in a restaurant that I worked in over 15 years ago. Uh, the chef was from Thailand and he taught this to me. Over the past 15 years, I've been adapting it as we've been cooking it at home so that it tastes just the way that you guys have learned to like it. And that's the way that we're going to make it today. Now, what I've done to start is I have my master recipe, but I have also printed off a list of ingredients and a list of the equipment that we're going to need. What I'm going to do is divide the directions into tasks for each of my young chefs while Orla gathers all of our ingredients together and Greta gathers all of our equipment together. And that's going to be the first step. When these two were younger, this gathering of ingredients and equipment was, might have been all that they did to help me cooking for a day, but today we're gonna go all the way through. Now, I do have to add a couple of things. You are also going to get a measuring cup of water for us, and Orla, you are going to get some rice as well, but I believe that's everything that we need. I will ask that with every ingredient that you get, you take this pen and you just put a check mark next to that ingredient or piece of equipment so that we know that we've completed everything. You ready to get started? Yes. Perfect, let's go. Everything is checked off for both of you. That's fantastic. Now again, if your chefs are really young, this might be the end of their journey for the day while well, then you cook, but now we're going to continue on. I'm going to divide the tasks for each of them out this way. Orla, your first task is going to be cutting up zucchini. After that, you're gonna cut up these peppers, and then you're going to do the cooking of our stir fry. We'll do that together. Greta, your tasks are first, to cook our rice. Okay. Then you're going to measure out all of the ingredients of our sauce into this bowl. And then after that, you're going to trim all of our herbs with our safety scissors there. Okay. Now again, if your chefs are younger, one of these tasks to start for each of them may be enough. And if you guys get tired and need a break, you know to let me know. Orla, you're comfortable with a paring knife. You've yes. been using one of those for a while. You've got your bear claw ready. Perfect, other hand, that's right. Here's what I'd like you to do. I would think that our zucchini, we're gonna cut them into pieces about a centimeter thick. Would you say that's a centimeter? Yeah. And then from there, using your bear claw, you're going to cut them into little quarters. I'm gonna leave two up here at the top, and then the next two go into the bowl there. This is going to be your scrap bowl for anything that we're not going to use, and it will go right into our compost. Now, you're going to start that, but go slow, and I'll keep one eye as Greta and I are getting our rice ready. Now, again, something that wasn't in our recipe, Greta, but I had this chunk of ginger hanging out in this fridge that was looking to start getting a little wrinkly. We're going to add that to our pot to give our rice some flavor. In here, this is two cups of jasmine rice for our stir fry, and I'm just going to use a spoon to get this all out. You're gonna use the spoon and scoop and just get those two cups into the pot. Now we've been soaking this rice for about 30 minutes um, and that's just gonna help the cooking process. Lots of different kinds of rice, like slightly different strategies to cook. The best strategy with rice is to read your package instructions. That's great, thank you Greta. Now you're going to take your one cup measuring cup and your quarter cup measuring cup, and you're gonna measure two cups of water 
into that rice and then a one quarter cup of water into that rice. Now, do you want me to pour while you hold? Okay. Oiled, are you doing all right over there? That looks do I fantastic. Have here? That's perfect. And you tell me when it gets to the top. There. Perfect. Now you can dump that in. We'll do that one more time. And then we're going to switch to our one quarter measuring cup. And I'm going to get you to use a third, and then we won't fill it right to the top. There. There we go. So we'll add that in. And then we need just a little bit of salt. Orla, I'm going behind you. There we go. I've got to just add a good pinch of salt in there. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Perfect. That looks ready to go. So we're going to put this on the stove. I'm going to turn it on. We're going to leave the lid off actually for a moment. And I want you, as you're getting started measuring out your sauce ingredients, Greta, mm -hmm. you're going to just keep an eye out. And as soon as this starts to boil, you're going to let me know because we're going to turn the heat down, put the lid on, and set our timer. Okay. Now, you've got your measuring cups here and our recipe. And the first thing that you're going to start to put in our bowl is our soy sauce there. So you can start to measure our soy sauce. There you go. Do you want some help measuring? Sure. Orla, you're doing all right there? Yes. Perfect. Let me know when you're done that zucchini and I'll get those peppers ready for you. Oh, Orla, you've done a great job keeping these pretty much the same size. That's perfect. That means they'll all cook the same way. Now here's how I'm going to take the pepper apart for you. There's two different ways you can take peppers apart. You can cut down each side, like so. Now, Orla, with your paring knife, it's going to be easiest for you to cut these peppers with uh, the skin side, or the outside of the pepper, down on the cutting board, okay? Yeah. So you're gonna, and if it's big and open, you can cut these into smaller pieces. There you go. And, I'm going to get you to cut them this long way. You're going to use your bear claw and just make thin strips like this, like drawing straight lines. And I'm going to leave these thin strips up at the top so you can make sure they're not getting bigger or smaller on you. Okay. You get started there. I'll line all these up for you at the top. There you go. Okay, so. Fish sauce. There you go. Why don't I do this one so you don't get it on you? Okay. Is it just one? Um, it says one, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Now, do you hear what's happening with our rice there, Greta? Yes. Starting to bubble. So I'm going to turn this down as low as I can get it to go. And are we going to put our lid on? You're going to put your lid on and set your timer for 15 minutes. Okay. Good job. You can leave anything that's too thick for you that you're not comfortable with cutting, leave it over to the side and I'll cut it for you at the end. That's fantastic. So I'm going to bring that over here. Now, this needs to go into our dirty dishes, which we're going to put into our bowl with our rice down there. Now, before we start anything new, what do we need to do? We need to wash our hands. We need to clean up our station. Okay. <laughs> and then it's a good idea to wash your hands. So I have a wet cloth over here. I'm going to get you to wipe off the little bit of sauce you spilled on the stove and then all around here. You ready for your next task, Greta? Yes. Perfect. Your next task is going to be to take some of these basil leaves and you're going to just find a stem, mm -hmm. one stem at a time, cut it off. You can cut maybe six stems aside from the one that I've done and then you're just going to pull each of these little leaves off and fill this little bowl with these little leaves, okay? okay. Before we turn our stove on, let's just walk through the steps that we're going to take. We've got our chili paste, 
and we've got our oil. The first thing that we're going to put in our pan are our onions and we're going to cook those down a little bit and get them nice and sweaty. Then we will add our turkey. And again, any ground meat will work with this recipe, but we're using ground turkey. As soon as our turkey goes in, we're going to add some of this chopped garlic. Yep. Once that cooks, we'll add the rest of our vegetables and then eventually our sauce into there. You ready? Yeah. Perfect. Now, I'm going to move the pan this way because when you start stirring, I want you to make sure you're always holding onto the pan. And if the handle does get hot, we've got an extra cloth right here that you can wrap around the handle so that you can hold it. You want to use the square one or the round one? The round one. Perfect. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm going to turn the stove on. That's probably good right there. Okay? So you're going to wait and just let that get hot. You can hold your hand over at the top and tell me when you think it's ready to get started. Well, it's already warm. Perfect. All right, Gary, do you want me to see if I can get any more juice out of there? No, you're still going? I think I can get more. All right. My hands are cold from cutting up the peppers. <laughs> Perfect. So this is warming them up nicely. What do you think? Ready to start? Yeah. Okay. So put in your guess about a tablespoon oh. worth of oil, maybe two teaspoons. <laughs> uh, did it drop? Yeah. So you can put that right into our compost bowl, Greta. Can you just hold up like a tablespoon? Uh, absolutely. You know what? Enough to put in this spoon. So just maybe a once around. Perfect. That should be good. Okay. All right, Orla, I think we're ready to add our chili paste. Okay. Now, when it comes to adding spice, uh, when you guys were younger, I just wouldn't add anything spicy into this recipe at all. The way that I was taught to make it was using fresh Thai chilies, uh, which tastes amazing, but gives you a little bit less control over how spicy you're actually making the dish, because using fresh chilies can really vary in what the results you're gonna get. So I happen to have this chili paste sitting in the fridge. You guys are okay with spicy food. Yeah. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons or so of chili paste. We're gonna add it right to the pan. And just a warning you guys, when this chili paste hits the pan, it's gonna be very fragrant and it might actually make you cough a little bit and make your eyes water. So be ready for that. Okay. We're gonna let that cook for about 30 seconds as you mix it in and then we'll add our meat. One thing I always recommend is not letting our young chefs play with raw meat. It just increases the chances of cross-contamination or even the chances if they get raw meat on their hands and then want to touch their face or anything before you can get them to wash their hands. So it's something that I would always recommend be one of the jobs for the adults. There you go. But you can break that up. You okay? Do you need a break? <laughs> you want to take a second? You're okay? All right. If your young chefs need to take a break or go do something else, you're just going to encourage them to finish cleaning up what they're doing before they go, and they can come back whenever they're ready. Are you done with those mint leaves? Yeah. Perfect. So here is our mint beside our basil. Put that up there. Perfect. Now. We're going to just finish with our cilantro, which I'm going to get you to actually add to our mint bowl now that I think about it. With cilantro, you're going to pick the leaves out and just pull the leaves off the stems. You don't really want any stems in there. And from there, see how I've got my three leaves together in a bunch? I'm just going to hold them together and again, just using my scissors, just trim those down a tiny bit more. Okay. Look, sound good? All right. Chef Orla, how is it going? Your meat has basically all turned color. That's great, and you've done a great job mixing it up. And I don't see big chunks of that chili paste in there anymore. Oh, there's one there. Yep, you got it. So let's add in our zucchini next. Or do you think our peppers should go next? Um, either one. They're going to go at about the same time. Let's do our zucchinis first, and then we'll do our peppers right afterwards, OK? OK. Perfect. So there you go. Mix those in.
Oh, and I forgot our garlic. Do you want to scoop that in there? Let's get that in. One more, get the little dregs in there. Perfect. Oh, is our rice ready? Perfect. Let's check it. Got our tasting spoons. Oh yeah, nice and hot. All right, let's get a little bit off the top there. If that's cooked, Is that ready? Yeah, I think it is. So if we give that a little stir, and then we'll put the lid up back on, and it can sit. Look, we've got this handy square spoon. I'm just going to give this a little stir. And put that lid back on, and it can just sit, and it'll stay warm for a while. So that's great. Yeah. Now, Chef Greta, you have finished all of your tasks now. Oh, no, you're still working on your cilantro? Perfect, keep going. All right, Orla, I think we're gonna add our peppers in. Okay. You tell me if this is too many peppers. I may have chopped more than we need. Yeah, I think that's enough. You think that's enough? Okay. Uh, now that I see you stir it around, I think we're gonna add just a little bit more. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. One of the things- Mom will be really sad if there's not enough peppers. If there's not enough, that's true. <laughs> One of the things to remember I chopped up a little bit more peppers than are needed. One of the things I've learned is just because I chopped them up, um, the instinct is to just add them in uh, because they're ready to go. But if you're not balancing out your ingredients, you really have to, again, think about the perspective of your young chefs. If it is so full of peppers that it's hard to eat around them, it might be something that's going to make it hard for your young chefs to approach. I would rather wrap this up in the fridge, use it as a snack, uh, maybe later on with a little dipping sauce or even tomorrow we could maybe pack some of these in your lunches for school um, or I might bring them to work as a snack with me. Uh, you can always repurpose uh, some of your ingredients like that and better to repurpose them than to have your young chefs not want to try what you've made just because you added in a little bit more than is necessary. There's a lot of liquid in the bottom of the pan. So the liquid in the bottom of the pan is coming from both turkey. the turkey and, and the turkey. vegetables. As they cook, they're going to release some water. That's okay. It's actually going to become part of our sauce, we, which we can get ready to add just about any minute here. Um, depending on the ground meat that you're using and how many vegetables are in the pan, you may actually need to add some water to the sauce to make it uh, saucier. So that's one of the things that we'll test as we taste the sauce once we add it to the pan. Now, are you ready? Do you think we should add some sauce? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use your spoon, if that's okay, okay, to do two things. One, to break up this little double pepper there, and just to stir our sauce around to make sure that we get everything that's in there, especially we don't want any sugar or anything left in the bottom of the bowl. We won't, it's not gonna taste the way that we want it to taste. So this seems mixed together. I'm gonna add it in, there we go. You stir that around. Greta, you finish there, yeah. cleaning that up. Now, as soon as your sauce starts boiling, which it looks like it's getting ready to do, I think we're really almost at the end of this. Let's maybe get ready to do some tasting. Now, really important when you're doing tasting with your young chefs, that you're not reusing the same spoons over and over. And so I find it really handy to have a container just filled with a bunch of spoons close by so that we can taste, put the spoon away, and keep tasting as we go. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate, I always like to get what we're tasting out of the pan for the young chefs, just to minimize the chance of them burning themselves by catching their hand on the side of the pan. Make sure you give those a really good blow. And as we taste, I want you to think about all the things we think about when we taste together. Is it salty enough? Is it sour enough? Is it sweet enough? Is the flavor balanced? <laughs> Okay, do you think it needs anything? It might need more lime. Okay, you think it, you're saying, thinking the same thing? Yeah, because uh, it's really salty. It's really salty and spicy. Keep stirring. So I think lime will balance that. Lime or more sugar. Wow, good job guys. So I was going to say when I tasted it, I actually think it needs a little bit more sugar and a little bit more lime. So I'm gonna take our lime here. 
Greta, do you feel like, do you want to squeeze right into the pan? Okay. Okay, just keep your hand high above the pan. And it doesn't need much more sugar. I'm going to say about another half a teaspoon I'm going to put in there. Arlie, you're going to stir that around. You think that's good? Okay, yeah. so give it a stir. Give it a second for that sugar to dissolve and for that lime juice to incorporate. Greta, you can put that down in our dirty dish bin again. You tell me when you think you've got it fully incorporated, Orla, and we'll give it one more taste. Is our sauce disappearing or does it look okay? It looks okay. Perfect. Again, if your sauce starts disappearing, you can just add a little bit of water in there or even if you have chicken stock or vegetable stock. Okay, I think we're probably good. So can you move something aside just so I can get a, a little bit of sauce there for us to taste again? And I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit as well, just to slow that process. There you go. Mm. What do you think? That definitely helps. It did, it very changed what we're tasting, doesn't it? Just that little bit more of the lime juice and the sugar. Yeah, that's a lot better. It brought it right up to balance. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Are you happy with it? Amazing, are you excited to eat it? <laughs> Perfect, now, what's our last thing that we need to do with our temperatures turned down? We're gonna add our shredded carrots. And the cilantro. The cilantro and mint, and our basil leaves. So add your carrots first. I'm gonna get you to cook those carrots for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to turn the heat off and then add our herbs. So are you add all of them? Yeah. Are you? Uh, do you want to? Do you think that might be too many? I don't know. I think you can add it all. Okay. That looks like fine to me. And the carrots are going to shrink because of the way we cut them. So just get that stirred in as soon as it's all incorporated. Now, Greta, just to finish up, this would be a perfect time if we were at home that you could go and set the table and get ready for us. In the meantime, I'm going to get you to just put these ingredients away and you can take our compost bin or our compost bowl over to our compost pile over there, okay? Perfect. Orla, you've done a great job. That looks very close. Do you think it needs another minute or are we good? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to turn the stove off. We're going to add in our fresh herbs here, Orla. So just go, I'll add the basil. You add the mint and cilantro. Let's give that one final stir around. And the last thing I'm going to get you do, to do, Orla, is just wipe our table off around our pan once that's all stirred together. Okay. Perfect. You can hang out right here with me. Okay. I'm not finished putting it. All right. You can put that away. <laughs> <laughs> and then do we get to taste it with all the ingredients together? Uh, absolutely. Yay! But first, we're just going to wrap up for our friends watching. So, thank you, Greta. <laughs> Uh, so in conclusion, again, I hope that you found that helpful watching us put some of those theories into practice. Again, for our younger chefs, any single one of the steps that you've seen my chef apprentices do over the course of this video um, is a fantastic way to start. What you're working up to is what you just saw where these guys were involved with me from the very beginning of the task all the way through to the end. As you can see, we're finished with a couple of dishes to do, but basically a clean work area. We have something, a finished product that both of these two are, have now tasted. They know what they're expecting when we sit down at the table. Uh, they've been part of that process and hopefully they feel some ownership of that as well. Are you guys excited to eat? Yeah, me too. So I hope you have fun practicing. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching along and check out some of our other videos. Take care.